Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I'm back with my third attempt at Project Life. Uh, I tried this two years ago. I tried it last year, wasn't able to continue, but I think that I have figured out a way that's going to make me stick with this. If you're not familiar with Project Life, this is a like weekly um, documenting project that's been around for many, many years. Um, just documenting photos and stories throughout the week, each week throughout the year. And so what I've done differently for this year compared to years past. Years past, I had a 12 by 12 album, um, but I switched down to a 6 by 8 album. This one here is from Simple Stories. I did see that uh, scrapbook.com did just release some new albums, so I'll be sure to link those ones down below. Um, they are probably going to be a little bit easier to get a hold of, but I'll link this one as well. And this is just a simple binder. I also found some Simple Stories um, page protectors. Again, this is six by eight, so it is smaller than the 12 by 12, and they have a variety of different um, page protector layouts. So I got some that have like two by two squares, three by fours, um, we've got four by sixes, and then there's this one here with two three by fours and a four by six. So there's also, you know, a variety of different layouts and things and I can switch them up. I can add, you know, inserts and do, you know, full pages if I want to and things like that. But I think that the smaller pages will work a little better because I don't have tons and tons of photos every week. Um, but then if I do have a week where I have tons and tons, I have these two by twos um, that I can fit uh, with my square photos that I usually take for Instagram. So I can either do one page for the week or I can do a spread like I'm going to do for this week. Um, and I think it's just going to give me a little bit more versatility. It's a little bit smaller, easier to work on. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I've already gone ahead and printed out my photos. And another thing that I'm going to be utilizing this year that I think will help will be the um, Project Life app. So that's this app here. I'll try to link it down below. Um, the nice thing about this is it has a wide variety of uh, templates for different page layouts, whether you're doing 12 by 12, 6 by 8. Um, there are some included with the app and then others you have to pay for. Like a lot of the 6 by 8 designs are like bonus ones that you have to pay for. So I did grab a couple of those 6 by 8 ones. And so they match the layout of the page protectors that I'll be using um, in my binder. And so basically, you're just going to drop your photos in to create your grid. This really gives you a nice way of, you know, looking at it before you print everything. Um, and then you can save this export um, this image once you've dropped your photos in there, and then you can print it. Uh, I'm just working from my iPad, I have an HP printer. And so I'm able to print directly from my iPad. Um, and just make sure that you um, um, print it to size, not fill the page. If you fill the page, it will make your photos bigger than the six by eight layout. So you want to make sure that you um, print it at the correct size. But that is what I'm going to be using to kind of set up my photos and print them. Um, another thing that I will be incorporating this year, um, I saw this tip from Taji. She saw it from somebody else. Um, I'm not sure where it was originally found, but there is this app called Front Pages, and this is just giving you the front page of different uh, newspapers all over the place, not just in the U.S., but around the world, and so you can either go by what's close to you. You can do ones that you read regularly, your choice, um, but then you can save that uh, front page image and it exports it as a PDF. And so then you can size it down and scale it and print it to whatever size that you want to go along with your layout. So I'm going to be printing in three by four size. Um, and this is just a great way to kind of take a little snapshot of some, you know, events throughout the week. Obviously, this last week had a lot of events. Um, I won't always include this. Um, but when there are things, you know, kind of going on in the world, this is a great kind of snapshot way um, to document those. Of course, it's pretty tiny, you can't read um, the print in some of that, but it gives you kind of a general idea of what's going on. And so that will be um, a photo that I incorporate. I'll also be incorporating like a snapshot of my weather app and just things like that, um, that I want to document throughout the week. So I have several photos, I pulled a few from the weekend before this week, um, just to kind of tie it all together, because we did go out of town and spend the day um, kind of shopping around. So I have a bunch of those down to 
two by two size. I have some four by sixes and three by fours. And I am going to be using um, the newest collection from Felicity Jane. This is Crystal. I do have an unboxing of this collection. I will link it down below for you guys if you're curious what comes in that. I do believe the kit is sold out in its entirety, but you can still grab the individual items. I'm not so much concerned about matching the colors to my photos, though I do edit my photos in Lightroom with some presets and kind of get them all the same tone and have some of the same colors. And so there are some of those colors that will be pulled out like the greens and things. Um, but then there's some other colors. I'm just not going to stress about it. I'm just going to put it together and get it done. So um, I have a few different stamps pulled out. Everything will be linked down below for you. Um, and this is going to go pretty quick, but I wanted to try to get in the habit of sharing this on my channel and doing this uh, weekly to document my photos. My plan is to do it the weekend, like Saturday, Sunday, and then get those up right away for you guys. So let me go ahead and put you guys on fast forward and we'll put together this week one layout for Project Life. Okay, so this is going to be pretty basic. I'm just gluing my photos to some papers that I've already cut down. Now, when I printed these photos from the um, Project Life app, they are slightly smaller than the measurements. So like this photo um, I thought was four by six, but it is a little bit smaller, but that is totally fine. I can go ahead and just mat them on some patterned papers. This is a great way to use up my paper stash bring in some of those patterns to kind of give the layout a cohesive look with those pops of patterns and things. And so I'm totally okay with that. Uh, also, the Project Life app has everything with rounded corners, as I know some of their cards and things have rounded corners, um, but I actually prefer not round corners. <laughs> and so while the photos are rounded, I can put them on regular cut out um, cards and papers and that works uh, just fine for me. Now in that app, you can also um, purchase and use digital um, Project Life cards. They have packs and things like that. So that might work better for you as well. But here I'm using a journaling card from that Felicity Jane uh, kit. I'm obsessed with this floral pattern. It is so, so pretty. Uh, and so I want to be able to see as much of it as possible. So I've pulled out some Carrie Bradford stamps. These are ginormous numbers. Uh, I don't know if these are available anymore, but she has a ton of great stamps for projects like this um, in a variety of sizes. So I've pulled out um, for week one, a zero and a one, and I'm going to be heat embossing these. So I have it in my stamp positioning tool. I'm going to prep it with my powder tool and my um, Versamark ink pad is getting a little bit dry. So I ended up having to like restamp this several times, but thankfully because it was in my stamp positioning tool, I could do that. Now this particular one is no longer available, but I did see my friend Taryn got one from Stampin' Up that is amazing. So I'm going to link that one down below for you guys. And it is on my wish list of things to get. Um, so I can share it with you guys because it is a really good platform. Now to heat emboss this, I'm actually using some of the new embossing glazes from Tim Holtz and Ranger. Um, this particular one is Hickory Smoke. So these glazes are in colors that are going to coordinate with the Distress line of products. And they are totally different than a regular um, embossing powder because they are translucent. So oftentimes embossing powders are opaque. You might have some glittery ones, some different finishes, but these are unique in that they are translucent. So as I heat this up, you'll see it is that, you know, really pretty hickory smoke gray color, um, but it's letting the pattern of that journaling card still show through those numbers because of the properties of this particular um, embossing glaze. So I have my one there, and then now I have this little label from the Crystal Collection um, that I'm stamping out my dates for the week. Um, I didn't get a good stamped um, impression there, but I'll just go in with a marker and we'll make it work. Uh, as far as color swatches and colors that match for inks and things like that, um, those are on my blog for the unboxing of the kit. You can also search the hashtag um, Lindsay Color Swatches on Instagram, and that will pull up all of my color swatches I've done. Um, usually it's the photo of the kit or, you know, project or whatever it might be, collection that I'm using, and then the photos after that photo will be the color swatch um, pictures. So um, that's a great way if you are working with older kits, different collections, if you want to see if I've put together color swatches, uh, again, you can search hashtag Lindsay color swatches and that will pull up on Instagram for you. 
So I have the right hand side of my layout all done over there and then I can start finishing up this side. I think I'm really going to enjoy these two by two photos because it allows me to use more photos on weeks when I have a lot more photos. Um, I oftentimes take my pictures in square format anyways, because I usually am only posting to Instagram. Um, and so it just makes it convenient that I'm not having to flip around between different um, sizes and things like that. So for this middle square, I'm just creating like a filler card basically. So I've cut down some of the solid paper to two by two, and then I've pulled out the crystal stamp set and it has this really pretty like leaf stamp in there. Um, and so I'm going to heat emboss this again with some of the embossing glazes. I'm going to use weathered wood. Now it's not as imperative that this is translucent with this particular card because there's nothing behind it other than the colored paper. Um, but this just kind of gives a tone on tone effect. Uh, I'm wanting to dress up the papers a little bit because I have so many photos. There isn't a whole lot of room for embellishment and creativity. Um, and so where I can, I'm going to add, you know, embossing, stamping, chipboard pieces, stickers, uh, just to kind of bring some more details to the layout. So I kind of fussed around there and got my little bird chipboard piece where, um, I want it with that little sprig of greenery kind of popping out behind it. Uh, I love that the browns and pinks really go with the filters that I use on my photos. So like our skin tone, everything is dead and brown here in California in the winter. Um, and so it went well with the pictures and the crystal collection and the colors in it. On top here, these are some photos from a trip that we took. We took a little day trip to a larger town near us. Um, we have some big plans for 2021. Um, we have some new business things that we were talking about doing. So we went and visited a store to kind of check out some materials. Um, then we went and did a little bit of um, antique shop, window shop with the boys and um, of course Chick-fil-A for lunch. <laughs> Anytime we go over to that town, that that is a must-have for us. So there I was able to include a few photos from that day. Um, and those tell the story basically. I didn't have to journal as much about that because I had so many photos. And then I just added a little bit of embellishment to that sunset photo over there. Um, I love how that photo came out. So I wanted to make sure that that was a larger photo on this layout. And then this card, this is a journaling card from the Crystal Collection. I'm going to dress up with a few different Felicity Jane stamps. And this is where I'll be journaling out um, just some highlights from the week. I'm kind of mixing and matching both an older stamp set. Uh, this one is Catherine. I'm not sure if it's available anymore longer. If it is, I'll link it down below. Um, but it has that um, currently piece and the circle. And then I'm going to bring in the crystal stamp set. Has some really fun little um, icons here that I'm going to heat emboss with that hickory smoke embossing glaze. That way I can bring that color over to the left-hand side of my layout. Just trying to keep the colors balanced, um, even though there you know, isn't a whole lot of embellishment um, or a whole lot of room for color. I'm wanting to make sure that I still keep things balanced as I put that together. So I just hand wrote out um, some details from the week and that is gonna be it for week one of Project Life. Off to a good start. Let's see how long we can keep this up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything that I use today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and click on that bell notification button. That way you will be notified of any new videos as I upload them. That way you don't miss them. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.